Hi, I'm Jess Arce, and I am the CEO and director of 3D Learning Experts. And in honor of Math Storytelling Day, I want to read a math story that I think would really resonate with students who have dyscalculia and dyslexia and dysgraphia, because one of the gifts that comes with the struggles is entrepreneurialism. That is one of my superpowers is I have been an entrepreneur since I was 11 years old. And maybe your child is an entrepreneur too. If so, they'll love this book and maybe it'll help them like math as well. It's great to incorporate multi senses into all learning and reading stories is a great way to do that. So this story is called A Little Spot Learns Math with Lemons. Hi, I'm Learning Spot, and I'm here to talk about math. Math? No thanks, I already know two plus two. I can count to a hundred. Wait, just a second. What if I told you math could help you predict the future? How? I'll give you an example. If you earn $10 and you spend $1 a day on ice cream, I can predict that 10 days into the future, you will have no money left. I don't like that example. Can you predict when I will make money? Learning math can definitely help you make money, save money and spend money wisely. How? Can math help you do that? Let's say that your neighbor pays you $10 to clean up all the lemons in their yard and they give you and they let you keep the lemons you pick up for free. Instead of buying ice cream and eventually running out of money, you could use the money to start a business selling lemonade and earn money. Before you can sell lemonade, you need to create a lemon recipe. You might need to practice a few times to get it right. Ooh, too sour. Mmm, just right. All of this counting and measuring is math. Half a lemon plus one cup of water plus one tablespoon of sugar plus three ice cubes equals amazing lemonade. Now that you have the perfect lemonade recipe, you need to figure out what everything will cost. All businesses have expenses. Listing out all of your costs is how you create a budget. Budgeting is math. Expenses to sell lemonade. You start Since you made $10 picking up lemons, let's use that as your budget. Four pounds of sugar is $2, 100 cups, are $3. 20 pounds of ice is $3. Two gallons of water equals 32 cups and that's $2. We don't need to include the cost of lemons because you earn those and everything else costs $10. Let's figure out how many cups of lemonade we can make with your budget. Two gallons of water since we only have two gallons of water, the most lemonade we can make is 32 cups. Measuring liquid is math. To figure out what to charge, it's good to do some research. Last weekend, you saw two lemonade stands. One was selling lemonade for $1 and one was selling lemonade for $3. It might be a good idea to charge something in the middle. Finding out the average part price is math. Now it's time to create the sign. I like to attach a sign to a box so it's strong and won't blow, blow away. It's good to measure the box to see how big to make the sign. Measuring height and length are math. If the box is big enough and sturdy enough, you could use it as a table to hold your cups and lemonade. Weight and balance are math. Now that you know how many cups you can make and what price to sell each cup, let's see how much money you could make. Can you count by two? 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64 dollars in sales. Now, can you multiply 32 cups of lemonade by two dollars per cup to find out what your total sales will be? 32 cups times two dollars equals 64 dollars. To figure out your profit, you would take your $64 in sales and subtract your expenses, which were $10. You can make $54 in profit. Way to go. You used math to make sure you are making more money than you are spending. That's very important. Now that you know you will be profitable, let's start selling. Some customers will pay you with exact change and some will need change back. You will use subtraction and addition to figure it out. Adding and subtracting is math. Wow, what a great day. You sold 32 cups of lemonade. Since there are two of you running the business, the lemonade stand, you can split your profit equally. Divide $54 profit by two. Division is math. You can use math to predict, to predict your future lemonade sales by creating graphs. Graphs are a way to see information visually. This also helps you see any patterns that can help your business. Creating graphs is math. This is two full years of sales in a graph. You can see a pattern. Summer is the best month to sell lemonade. Finding patterns is math. With a few lemons, hard work, and problem solving with math, you can buy lots of ice cream and even have money left over to save for your next business idea. Wow, there are so many ways to use math. What business should we do next? The end. Reading stories to your children with dyslexia, dysgraphia, and dyscalculia are a great way to help them learn more information and improve, increase their vocabulary so that they can keep up with their classmates. I love this book because like I said, entrepreneurialism is one of the gifts of dyslexia. And this is really a great way to help your child understand the value of math if they don't enjoy learning math. When people understand the value of things, they're more eager to learn them. So that is one way that my child, my youngest child learned to tell time was because he wanted to know when he could watch TV. They weren't allowed to watch TV until a certain time of day. And so he learned to tell time that way. It also is a great way to learn how to count money and if they want to have a lemonade stand or some other kind of business, selling cookies or things like that. And you can have them learn fractions by increasing or reducing the recipe at home. I hope you found these tips to be helpful. If you'd like more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com at 3D Learning Experts. And if you'd like to learn about our tutoring, I'd be happy to have a free consultation call with you. Just go to 3dlearningexperts.com forward slash consult and you can schedule a call with me. Also, we've got lots of great resources on our website, 3dlearningexperts.com. Have a great day and remember, you can be the champion for your child.